My name is Dr. Mark Algy and in this video I examined Virginia. First her body muscles are examined, then she's examined for some cerebellar dysfunction. We did some right-sided aromatherapy, left-sided cerebellar exercises, the left nasal canal technique, some trigger points in her oral cavity, adjusted her C7, examined her low back for dysfunction, some trigger point work, adjusted her L5 to the left side of the table, went back and rechecked to make certain the adjustment was correct, adjusted her right fifth metatarsal, did some trigger point work on her right peroni muscles, adjusted her left knee, left hand, left elbow, her left rib cage. This is that case. In this video, unlike my other videos, I'm going to narrate, and the reason for that is this video is actually done for Virginia's doctor back in her home state. Virginia tested poorly during her first exam. This is her second treatment, and here we're checking her hip flexors. And the reason we're doing that is last time she came in, she had a left cerebellar weakness. She's also sustained some head injuries, so we're doing some aromatherapy in the right nose to stimulate the right brain. We had her go back and do some left-sided cerebellar exercises. And what you'll notice how difficult it is for her to do this. So this is where the practitioner will come in and assist. And in this example, I'm rotating her left leg for her and she's rotating the upper arm. The patient can do the upper extremity. Now we're gonna switch. Now we can also do it let me rest for a sec. We can also do it by doing the arm. We did the arm and the patient does This is easier, but when the doctor changes and actually rotates the patient's arm and the patient has to rotate their leg, it becomes more difficult for them to do that. It's more difficult. Switch direction. Once again, this is a left-sided cerebellar exercise. What that does is to stimulate her left cerebellum to fire up her right cortex. So in the traditional relationship, the left side of the body through the cerebellum relates to the right cortex. And so Virginia, in these tests that we were performing, demonstrated a dysfunction in that circuit. This is why we're focusing on the left side of the body and the right side of the brain. Now here what I was doing is I was using the tapping as a screening tool to find out if she needed nasal cranial therapy. So I was tapping her zygomatic arch on the right. It did not show any dysfunction with muscle testing. However, when we went on the left side and rechecked, she went weak. This is abnormal. I went back to double check the right. It still held strong. So then I went back and rechecked the left again, and it still shows the dysfunction. So this is where we put the balloon in the lower nasal canal and inflate it. Gently inflate. You hear it? Yeah. So here what I did, I put on a finger cot and went into Virginia's oral cavity did some trigger points on her internal pterygoid muscles and her masseter muscles. Anytime a patient has any type of head trauma or has a car accident, there's dysfunction in these muscles. Remember, the jaw joint is the highest joint in the body. So when you have dysfunction in your TMJ, your temporomandibular joint, it causes a lot of dysfunction in patients. So whenever we have any patients that have car accidents or head trauma, we always do that there. Here I was mobilizing C7 and then went back and rechecked her reflexes, which were abnormal during the beginning of her exam and confirming that C7 needed to be adjusted. And then I adjusted C7. Any patient who's running kind of anxious anxiety or panic attacks, you want to go for that C7. I'll touch patients' hands because they will usually warm up after an adjustment. If they don't, like our patient, it tells me that she probably has some kind of thyroid issues going on, so we need to get an autoimmune thyroid panel performed on her. Pull this foot to your tush. So good, that's normal. Try this one, don't let me pull. Good. Don't let me pull. Okay, so that is a gallant reflex. It should go weak. When I stroke this, the ipsilateral hamstring should go weak. These are the primitive reflexes that get inhibited in us as we get older. So here's a perfect example. She should go weak and she's not. Let's try again. So now we're going to go challenge her sacrum for starters. I'm going to push the sacrum in the other direction. 
I like that. It was a little weak, but not what we kind of were looking for. We're going to check L5 on the right. Probably. There it is. That's crazy. Yeah. Bye. Sorry. Hey, no worries. Thank you so much. Take care. You need a chiropractor. Bye. Okay, I'll remember that. Thank you. So we're going to adjust our L5 on the right. I just want to check her L5 on the left to confirm whether it's a bilateral issue. It's not, so you rest for a little bit. Push out. Good. This, so this should be weak with this test. What's taken out of this segment because we're in our main room and I didn't have a separate camera set up, is we're doing balance testing between each treatment. And she's having a tendency to continue to roll on her right foot. Do that again. Okay. Push up. So she always has a tendency to roll her on this right foot, so we're going to try to adjust her right fifth metatarsal. She's improving in her balance each time. She still has some other system of dysfunction that hasn't been addressed. So her balance has been getting a lot better, but it's not perfect yet. So here, for example, we get her up and we check her balance again. So here at the end of our session, we still adjust her left ankle, her left knee, her left hand, and also with this left cerebellar exercise, and her left elbow. And the reason for that is, once again, it's to stimulate proprioceptive inputs on the left side. One of the great things about video is you can go back and look at a patient's facial expression after an adjustment, which is always an interesting thing. If you or someone you know needs help with either a simple or complex health problem, please feel free in giving our office a call. I would like to publicly thank Virginia for approving this video and her trust in my services.